Hi guys, my name is Shito. Welcome to the New Earth community. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, guys. So let's jump straight in. Let's see what your person is thinking and feeling. So whilst I'm shuffling, I'd like to say that I offer counseling, mentoring, advice programs, and our readings. I'm not just a tower reader. So if you want to head over to my channel, you'll find it in the description box below. And whilst you're there, check out all the programs and services and also come and join our Facebook group, guys. Everything is mentioned down below. All right. Wow. We're at the end of August. How has it been for all of you guys? It's been quite an incredible, incredible month. Well, I have to show you this. Ten of Cups. This is about the universe teaching us especially this month how to get to our fulfillment right so let's see what's uh, happening with your person what's happening with the divine masculine spirit what's happening with the divine masculine oh wow all right i've got the three of wands it says virtue you know this card it always reminds me when i read the word virtue patience is a virtue so there's something that your person oh okay it makes sense all right ace of swords okay i feel your person is kind of waiting for an opportunity to cut the bullshit out and come towards you speak their truth that's what i heard when the ace of swords flew out let's keep going tell us what else what is the masculine thinking and feeling at this time too many cards oh, are we taking everything oh wow okay okay this is separate all right so Let's go through these guys. Lots of cards, but I have to take it. Got the six of pentacles. And this has been coming out for the masculine. Um, this is about imbalances. This is about seeing the truth, waking up to the truth. I've got the three of cups, the five of cups, and the judgment card. So what I'm really getting is your person couldn't see that their life with the third party was imbalanced, was not balanced. It wasn't an equal give and take. It's actually too harsh for me to say that they didn't know it. They did, but I feel they didn't acknowledge those feelings. They didn't acknowledge that fact. They just swept it under the carpet. But what's really happening is their, their life with the third party is imbalance there is not any equal give and take it's a facade and what i'm really getting here is things are going down with the third party things are going down with your person and the third party it's like yes they're realizing that they're not happy with the third party but there's an intense level to it at the moment, which is why we've got uh, the judgment card. They're waking up to the fact that they thought they could handle. It's like, it's really, it's kind of weird, but it's not because the masculine always knows uh, he's been, he or she um, is not fulfilled with the third party, but they settle. And before they meet you, it's easier to settle, right? Before you meet your person, it's always easier to accept things as they are without having the motivation or the drive to better your life or to better yourself. That's this. And what has happened is because there's been an absolute separation, like really, really stark separation, detachment between feminine and masculine, between you and your person, having gone back to the third party having chosen something else and someone else over you over this connection it's kind of drilled it's like there's a feeling of you know putting the last nail in the coffin it just kind of seal the deal for your person and for them to realize that i've come back to the third party 
and that there's no way you know losing hope that you're gonna take them back losing hope because what has happened is sorry i'm kind of in and out but there's so much that's coming and i want to say this to you what's happened is in the past if there was a separation you always went back you have to understand how important it is that you have pull back from your person, reduce communication, put your guard up. And in the past, while you did it, you kept going back, kept going back, and they got used to it. So it was easier for them to be in and out, in and out, in and out, right? Third party you, third party you. Now, it's the last nail in the coffin is like shit, you know? I've come back here, I fucked up, because obviously, you know, I'm waking up to the fact that people here in the third party are just fucking taking the piss out of me, right? And I'm giving and giving and giving and giving and nothing. I'm, I'm just facing disappointment after disappointment. And I regret not choosing that two of cups. And now my two of cups, I have no access. I'm not sure. I'm not as confident as I was before. He or she's going to take me back. He or she's going to respond to my text messages. Uh, are they going to be open to hanging out with me? If they're not wanting to date me or be in a relationship, are they open to just being friends? You're, you're not encouraged. You're encouraging none of that at the moment. None of that at the moment because you're just happy in your world. This is also you and I'll, I'll get to those other cards in a minute. Uh, three of Wands just left it saying, you know, what the hell? It's like, I want the truth. You're cutting out the bullshit with your person this time and say, I'm not bullshitting. I'm not getting back into those toxic patterns. And you went completely hermit. This is your person now following that process. It's following that process because they're realizing that they chose the third party for what? For, for this, like I actually chose this over the two of cups. They didn't see that before. They didn't see that before. And I feel that's what's really waking, waking up your person. I don't know how to tell you because the intensity of how badly they're fucked up this time, it's, it's, it's unreal. How, how the masculine is realizing that he or she has come like really, really fucked up because they don't have access to you. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. It's like the access to you has been cut off because it's not like before. Before I started this reading, as I was shuffling and the full card came out, this is a new cycle. This is a new cycle. And even if you want to be with your person, even if you love your person, all of that, yeah, all of that is there. It's, it's, it's true. Yeah. But is that good for you? Is that situation good for you? No. This is you cutting out the bullshit with yourself and telling yourself, yeah, I love that person. I want to be that person. But that person hasn't been showing up the way I want. So what's the point? What's the point in me enabling Another toxic pattern of just pretending everything is fine, pretending, oh, I'm just happy that I'm with my person. Yes, but you want more. You want equal give and take. Every tarot card is a light and dark, isn't it? So it's like the six of uh, pentacles is about equal give and take, balance. There has to be balance in relationships. What's the fucking point otherwise? Because it's, it's, it's a breeding ground. If, if that's not the case, relationships become a breeding ground for resentment, anger, and hate. Because you, ex you get into that relationship expecting the other person to make you happy. Why, what the fuck are you doing, right? That's why I showed you the 10 of cups. What the fuck are you doing? That's the universe asking your person, what the hell are you doing with the three of cups what what are you doing here with the three of cups when you can be with the two of cups and have a beautiful fulfilling proper real genuine true connection 
with someone what are you doing you you are the fake you are the facade because a shadow side of six of pentacles is a facade you and a facade is what we wear a mask we pretend haha everything's fine it's not fucking fine are you happy try and ask that question to anyone try and ask it to yourself are you happy where you are i'll bet the answer is no and that's what your person is realizing that i'm not happy but i walk back it's like someone's pulled you out of the shit you know i mean you were in shit and then you suddenly realize oh i can't get out of this you know this so someone comes along helps you that's this connection same goes for you feminines i i am cussing the masculines out here same for you this connection gives you a way out of the fucking shit but what do you guys do you guys don't do anything you get a reading here and there you watch our readings here and there and that's it you feel that's it your person is just going to magically show up without you doing the work no no you're not going to get your person you're not going to be happy and you will be unhappy till you die if you don't heal yourself a star seeds to influence we are here to heal it it, it is not different for me it's it's not different for me it's the same thing for me for for peeps and mish everybody we all it's the same thing we got to stop the bullshit stop bullshitting ourselves and just get on and do the work because otherwise you keep yourself stuck you keep your person stuck because that's how the that's how the contract rolls that's how the communication uh, the, this this connection rolls you got to do the f- work first inside It's it's just been incredible. I mean, I know August has been such a fucking bummer when it comes to these energies and with the planets. Oh my god, I'm not getting into it. But the change has been massive and if we weren't doing something before and now we are because the universe really kicking our butts is me it means that we were choosing not to do the work. You're choosing not to do the work. hence your person chose to go back to the third party but if you guys are still doing the work going for it yourself focused on your own healing on your own uh you know manifesting your own happiness then well done guys keep going because that's going to give you the strength the confidence to keep going and that's going to help you detach more and more from your person it's going to bring you to a place where you're more neutral so if your person comes back you can make a decision that's good for you so reach out guys come and connect with us on facebook you can check everybody out whoever you resonate with with, with the most go ahead and book an image reading because that, that's an in-depth reading invest in the programs master program is a great place to start because everything that is fucked up in our world as an adult starts with our foundation starts with how we are brought up hence the master program because it helps you dive deep in your upbringing your family etc etc so check it out guys check it out do that for yourself because it's not that you're worthless and when we do shit like this which your person mirrors back to you we feel we're not good enough and when i say you we feel not good enough we feel worthless but your your worth is infinite it's an infinite amount of worth only you feel you're unworthy only you feel you're not worthy of such an incredible and amazing connection so your person mirrors that to you that's what you need to work on that's what i feel for some of you who are not working on yourself and be honest guys this is no point in faffing about with yourself it's got nothing to do with me be honest with yourself are you doing this for you do you feel good do you feel even when you start feeling like yourself when you're doing the work and fuck these programs work what what else do you want me to fucking say they're all 100% money back guarantee but i guarantee you 100% you won't ask your money back if you do what you're supposed to do cuz they fucking work that's what this is 
So changing your connection and transmuting the negative energy in your connection starts with you. So if you want to change this, if you're already changing, then you don't need to worry about it because the universe will send you someone else who's more in alignment with you. And it's always a choice, always a choice, guys, here with this. Disappointed. I'm getting some of you are disappointed in this. And it's natural to be disappointed because the human side of us, the human nature is to have expectations. And we're not here just because, you know, twin flame star seeds are angelic being in light work. This doesn't mean you, you, you diss your human nature. No, that's also who we are. And that's what the star is bridging the gap. So it's natural to feel disappointed, but then you know you can go within and heal or transmute or change that state of disappointment to by understanding why you're disappointed, why you're expecting certain things. Your person went by expecting them to be received with open arms, right? Because the third party is more it is their family isn't it it is their family and family is coming up and it's just going to amp up here in the last few days of august it is their family isn't it if they feel at home with you they just make the the logical connection that yeah that's my family so i should feel more at home with my family than with some stranger that's you being with you reminds me of woman i'll pull that card off from the mini deck but it's not it's not the fucking same. That's the disappointment. It's like, hello, I left that person who I really feel a connection to, really feel at home with. That person accepts me for who I am. They make me feel loved. They make me feel wanted. And here I've chosen my family, third party family. It is fucking family. Let's just, you know, let's just be. <laughs> let's just be truthful about it it is family disappointed as fuck and spirit is like family is never a, 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 a 3d perception when it comes to you and your person it's got nothing to do with family it's your your heart that wakes up to someone and that's what the two of cups is it's, it's a really harsh lesson that your person is going through, which is why they've kind of retreated. They're retreating. And this is what I got yesterday when I posted on my channel as well. This is what I got. They retreated from, they're retreating from the third party. They're still in the third party. They haven't walked away. They're thinking of walking away. This person is still looking back here but they're in hermit mode they're pulling back they're very guarded with the third party they're in isolation but in a group you, it's like you feel alone in a crowd that's actually your person and it's making them really become more aware of the choices they have made and the truth saying shit my future who i see in my future i'll let that person go and when you know the truth, it's, it's incredibly heartbreaking when you know you fucked it up. That's what your person is going through. So <clears throat> let's see what action. So many cards have fallen out. What action? Oh my God. Yeah. See, Queen of Swords, that's whoever they went back to. Four of Swords and the Star card. They chose someone else over you and now they're in heartbreak and spirit is saying, you know what? That's your karma. Go within and figure out why you made that. We make stupid decisions because how we are brought up as children, our skewed perception of love makes us make decisions that go against our heart, hence the heartbreak. And I'm not just saying heartbreak flippantly. The three of swords is the death card. You're alive as a human being, but your heart goes through an energetic death and that fucking hurts. Trust me, it hurts. Out of experience, I'm telling you. That's what your person is going through and they're trying to figure out 
become more aware of themselves. And when it's the hermit, it's about going. I didn't even see this card. It's about going and facing, not avoiding, facing, sorry, facing the truths that you weren't. That's the heartbreak. And that's the Ace of Swords, isn't it? So learning the truth about what they were avoiding before, which is why they were running away from this connection into the arms of the third body. Sorry to sound fluffy, but that's what it is. Because that was a more easier, more comfortable, more safer option. Going for your person is hardcore. It, it's like someone has taken you in the middle of the ocean and has just thrown you in and say, okay, and she feels swim. I can't swim. Can you imagine? I, I know I'm going to die. But that's this. That's choosing your person who you actually want to be with and not settling for the options. So even if some of you have options, this is what the universe is teaching you and your person that, yeah, you have options. These options are good. But are you sure you're not settling for this because these are safer options and it's a lot more harder than going for your person? I run out of fear that you will see the real me. I now know, but I now know how much I need you in my life. That's your person. So I hope this reading was helpful, guys, and thanks for watching.